Pierce, okay, so I actually saw this, and I really love Harry Potter, so I'm gonna figure out which house I'm in by taking this test. Sort me. Okay, so here, let's uh, read the little thingy. Hogwarts house a sorting quiz. I know what you're all thinking. Not another sorting quiz, but... Before you get bored and leave, let me say a few things about it. This is not a, the ordinary sorting quiz that you're used to. Unlike all those other quizzes in first dating the internet, this quiz actually sorts you for who you are as a person, not because your favorite animal is a lion. <laughs> I made this quiz as a... Re action to all the bad sorting quizzes the problem with most of the existing quizzes is that the questions rely have anything to do with which house you would actually be sorting <laughs> into i'm glad that i have this one then okay your favorite color doesn't affect which house you belong to not every gryffindor likes defense against the dark arts not every slytherin likes potions. Just look at Harry, Ron, and Hermione. Each is in Gryffindor, but each has a completely different d disproportion. Harry's father was often a bully and a thief, yet he was still in gr Gryffindor. This quiz will actually ask you physiology questions with a something of answers that can't easily be determined as to which house they fit into. This was meant to be more like what the sorting hat does. Just remember though that you must answer these questions truthfully in order to get a accurate answer. Also, these questions are written to take place in our world, not the world of Harry Potter. Dang it. I didn't give a Harry Potter theme to the the quiz because the answers are more accurate this way. As muggles, we don't have any idea what it's like to be faced with a troll or a bogart, and we've never played Quidditch. Our answer may be squinked as to how our favorite characters would act. Uh, Instead of ourselves, however, we all know that what it's like to live in the muggle world because we do it every day. So anyways, without further ado, question number one. Okay, well, I'm glad that I'm using this one, I guess. Okay, so question one, you are given a test at school that was questions that teacher hasn't covered yet in the middle of the test you notice that your friend next to you has a cheat sheet the teacher doesn't notice ask to share the cheats what would i do ask to share the cheat sheet this test isn't fair so so why should why should you be good for them they beat the system gun Front them after the test and try to convince them not to cheat anymore. You don't want them to get in trouble. Conf confront them after the test and force them to l to tell the teacher they cheated, or you will tell them tell on them. They must pay for their misdeeds. Inform the teacher right in the middle of the class that they are cheating. Cheaters never propose. Propers. Okay, well, one, I wouldn't cheat. Two, I would not let them get away with it. So at one point I would have to, but I wouldn't wait until after the test. So I'm going to go with inform the teacher right in the middle of the class. So then he fails. While walking down the street, you see a wallet on the side of the road. It has a small amount of money in it but no identification of any kind. There is nobody in sight. Leave it there. Someone is probably looking for it. Pocket the money. You don't know who it belongs to, so finders keepers. Take it to the police 
in case anyone ever reports it. Take the wallet and go around the area asking anyone if they have lost a wallet recently. I think what I would do is I wouldn't just like pocket the money. I would not leave it there. I would kind of, but really I can't go to the police. So I guess I would just like (laughs) leave it there. (laughs) Basically, I'm just, yeah. Plus I don't really like talking to strangers. So, (laughs) haha. A number three, someone has played a prank on your on you which involves your public embarrassment and everyone belo- begins laughing at you. However, you doubt they meant any harm by it. Laugh at, uh, laugh along with the crowd. You love a good joke even if it's at your expense. On the outside, you'll laugh because you don't want anyone to know that they really hurt your feelings by making you look stupid in front of of everybody. You get upset and run away from the crowd. How could they be so mean? That jerk, you get mad right away and tell it to their face. Pretend that all is well but you won't forget this they're going to pay for what they did how dare they publicly humiliate me oh gosh okay well i wouldn't laugh along okay i would get mad but i wouldn't like get upset and run away and i wouldn't tell it to his face i would wait so i'm gonna do pretend that all is well But you won't forget this. They're going to pay. I always do that. Just in my little sneaky ways, though. And you'll never notice. You have arrived late to work because you had a flat tire. You've been on time every other day for the past month. Yet your boss yells at you about it in front of all your co-workers under his yelling he is my boss after all let him yell uh it doesn't matter anyways you're not listening <laughs> explain <laughs> to him that accidents happen and that you don't feel you need to be yelled at because of it Yell right back at him. How dare he insult you for something so petty. Allow him to yell all he wants. You'll just let the air out of his tires someday. Oh no, that last one is mean, brah. No, no, no. Uh Uh-uh. You do not do that, okay. I guess... Okay, well, basically, this is me every day. Just let them yell. I ain't listening. I ain't listening to you. You can yell at me for three hours. I ain't gonna listen. I'll just ignore you. Number five. You have just uh, returned home from a long day's work when a friend calls you and explains that they are stranded on a back road an hour drive from town and they need you to pick them up they've already tried everyone else and you are their only means of getting back i'm too tired tell them to try to flag it down a car to help them out wow that's mean i'm too tired make up a lie about why you can't help them i'll do it but i'm charging them for gas money yes i'm tired but what are friends for? Ask them what's wrong with the car. Maybe you can talk them through how to fix it. Um, I think the first thing that I would definitely do, well, one, I would, I wouldn't just make up a lie and just say, you know, if it will. Sure, I do the what are friends for, but if it's like, ugh, I don't know. Okay, I'm stuck between yes, I'm tired, what are friends for, and try to help them fix the car you know what maybe if i would 
Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Maybe if I went over there, I could help them uh, fix their car whenever I get there. Because, you know, they couldn't fix it before, so. And it's very hard for me to comprehend uh, people talking to me over the phone instead of showing me. Dyslexia. Yeah. You gotta love it. A little kid excuse you in front of a whole crowd people. Uh, people of steal accuses you in front of a whole crowd of people of stealing his toy, which you did not do. You are twice his size, but he won't back off. <laughs> Sounds like all the little kids at my uh, school. They're not little kids. There are teenagers. They're just short. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Even though half y'all are my friends. How dare he insult me in front of all these people. I'll show him how things work in the real world. Don't do that, man. Explain to him that I didn't take his toy and give him fair warning that he'll have to black have a black eye if he doesn't drop it. Try to rash rationalize with the kid. Tell him you didn't take the toy and refuse to fight him even if he takes a few swings at you. I'm going to automatically click that. Tell him you didn't take the toy and direct him to someone who can help him find it. Explain to him you didn't take the toy and offer to personally help find it. Okay, never mind. You know what? I'll go with the last one. That more That's more nice. You know, you gotta help them. Help them who stole your toy. So how many questions on seven? There's like 12 questions. <laughs> I'm on number seven. Holy crap. Okay. You have saved up for months to buy a new bike. Oh, I wish I could do that. As you're getting ready to buy it, a child runs by and steals your money. You chase him down and find that he... His mother is deathly ill, and the child stole the money to buy her medicine. Oh, that's their problem. I didn't get the lady sick. Okay, no, that's mean. I'm not even going to finish that. I worked hard for that money, and it's mine. No, 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 no. No number one. I ain't going to do that one. Perhaps you would have helped them if they were to ask, but you don't help them selves maybe i'll let them keep some of the money but and buy the bike later they are obviously in need of the money more than i can give it all to them i think that this one is quite nice i'll give them the money and try and nurse the mother back to health refuse to give them your money but still try to okay well, I think I will give them all my money, but I won't exactly help nurse them. I'll let them do that themselves, because, you know, I don't want to get sick myself and almost die or something like that. You don't know what the lady has. Could be Ebola. Okay. That would be kind of sad, though. They probably do have a medicine for Ebola, though, but it's really not that effective. A friend of your, yours tells you that there is some really cool stuff in old abandoned building. When you get there, you see a sign that danger, do not enter, but the building doesn't look dangerous. There is nobody around to see you, and your friend wants to check it out. Oh my gosh. I swear, this is going to be a me moment. I always say there is some dangerous stuff in there, and we shouldn't go inside. Psh, heck, I don't know. Maybe I'll just take a peek inside for a little while. What could I, What couldn't it hurt? Danger, schmatter, danger, schmanger. There's probably some cool stuff inside. Let's see what all the fuss is about. I'm so the third one. I don't care. I will see something really creepy, something that'll say danger, and I'm going to be like, oh, let's go in there. <laughs> and then my friend tries to back me away, and I'm like, no, 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 no. We are going in there. <laughs> I, 
I go into too many forests. A very strong man approaches you while you're eating lunch and demands that you give him some food. He doesn't appear to be starving or poor. There is nobody there to stop him from taking it. Oh, give him... Oh, okay, okay, so I have to give him something. Give him some food and leave quickly. You don't want any trouble from a jerk like that. Give him some food and leave, but you're going to tell on him later. <laughs> Give him some food and follow him to his house so you can <laughs> later get him back by doing something rather nasty. That sounded dirty. Don't do that. Okay, give him half your food and invite him to sit and talk with you. Maybe you can befriend him. Give him a nice fist in his face. Nobody steals from you. I'm, I'm just going to pick the answer of what I used to do at my old school. So, give him a nice fist in the face. Nobody ain't going to steal the fat girl's food, girl. I mean, whoever you are. <laughs> you have, in Herdia, a large sum of money from your great aunt. Put it all into a savings account and spend it wise. <laughs> Let's be honest. That first one is not me. As need present the cells. Buy a few things right away. Maybe a new car, a boat, a house, etc. The rest I'll put away for a rainy day. Spend it all on something really big and <laughs> so you can't take it with you, right? Donate it to the sick, injured, and poor. Donate it to science, no, research and development. Invest it into the market. You'll soon have even more. I'm sorry. Okay, here's me. I always do this. I always buy things until, like, I barely have any money left. So then all that money goes in my rainy day pile, which is a really pretty pink colored egg that I have. So, yeah, I'm a spender. I never, like, save it. Eleven, we're almost done. You are given a small plastic puzzle that looks to be difficult to solve. I have better things to do than play with this toy. Toys, I'll try it out, but if I can't solve it, it's not the end of the world. <laughs> I'll put some time into it. I'm sure I could solve it eventually. Okay, that one is so me. I won't give up until I solve it. Then maybe I'll try it blindfolded. <laughs> Never mind. That last one is actually me. I will keep on rebuilding it and rebuilding it. Five years ago, a girl stole some money from you, and she never got in trouble for it since then. She has become a much better person. Recently, she has been arrested for stealing, but you can prove that she is innocent. I'm not saying a thing. This is the punishment that she never got five years ago. Wow. Tell her that I'll save her. Provided she pays me back the money she owes me. I actually probably would do the second one. I'll save her because I know she's a better person now. I'd save her even if she was still a bad person because I know she is innocent this time. Okay, I would help her, but she would have to pay me back. Okay, more quizzes. Okay, sort me. Ooh, you are. Huh? Ravenclaw? I'm in Ravenclaw. Ooh. The sorting hat says I'm in Ravenclaw. To put this result on your web page, I'm Ravenclaw? Are you kidding me? What? I can't believe it, I'm Ravenclaw. Really? I want to eat you. 
one day I will be Slytherin. <laughs> well, apparently that's weird. Okay. I never thought that I would ever do that. Ravenclaw 13. People have gotten in Ravenclaw. Gryffindor 12. Hufflepuff 11. There's only nine people in Slytherin. Oh, wait, 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 no, 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 that says how much I would have been in. Ooh, I'm 12. I could have been in Gryffindor. I was just, like, one point behind. Or Hufflepuff, that's two points behind. And I only got nine points for Slytherin. <laughs> hey! So, I'm a little bad. I don't know what Hufflepuff does. I don't know what Ravenclaw does, but... Wait a minute, Ravenclaw. It's a eagle, so United States. <laughs> then Gryffindor. Yay. I at least got really close to Gryffindor. I'm happy about that. Well, subscribe and like my little vampires. And, oh, what's this? Extras? What is extras? Ooh, games. What is this? <gasps> There's games. Oh, wait. I think I have one of these. I have the uh, one that's that, that's at the bottom, and it says Order of the Per something. Yeah. I have that one. Oh, I loved it, though. Okay, so subscribe and like my name on Pierce, and I will see you possibly in a Minecraft video, because I am in love with Minecraft now, so I gotta keep on playing it. So, bye. Shh. <laughs>